Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and reading to episode 11 of my dad's secret ambition. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, a bell. Oh, look at Rogu! <laughs> well, it's three if you count Roku. Even though Roku can't talk, but Roku was there for support. Really, guys? Uh. I think what we got like one more episode left for this show. I believe. You know, let me look that up. Okay. Yeah, we got one more episode. Damn, this sucks. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want it to end. Oh god, this is gonna be the first show that ends for me. Hmm. Shit. Damn it. It went by too fast. Kind of slow, really, but at the same time, it went too damn fast. <laughs> mm. Which usually sometimes happens, you know? That's the same thing with like school cuts and everything. <laughs> no, that's something he may have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't. Me? Mm. <laughs> he still went out and made you about what he made? Oh!
Yeah, no, you have a family room, and sometimes in your family room you have the meeting. But, yeah, there is, <laughs> there is no room designed for a meeting room. <laughs> Well, maybe she wants to go ahead and start planning it now. Or maybe it's your birthday. No, no. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. What do you say? Um, the one who's just here for food. Me. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's a color page. See, it would have been funny if his editor would have been like, well, what do you think it is? <laughs> Was that a friend? I mean, not a friend of Jason Mouse. I've been here drowning. I'm not going to be her crying again. I'm going to lose everything. Oh. 
Aww. Hey, Sleepy. <laughs> Our meeting? Oh, he may. No. I mean, but it's really the misunderstanding, though, because you assume it's ending, but it's not. And he is. <laughs> See, honestly, I didn't think it was going to end up like this. Like, going into last week's episode and the shit that we saw towards the end of it, I was thinking it was going to be something big, but not <laughs> misunderstanding. Hmm. Well, that's because we're ending in 10 weeks. But a birthday for you. <laughs> no, it's going to be outside. Awesome. Oh. See, that's why you should have at least a binder or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Oh, okay. There she is. I'm about to make me panic. Hmm? Oh, this is about to be like the ring. <laughs> Or is it? Oh my god! <laughs> you ass! <laughs> yeah, he can sail on there. Stay down there for a while. <laughs> oh my god! That is a Moko series. Mm -hmm. Here comes the misunderstandings. <laughs> we get to keep going! But can we still go on our break though? Damn. Oh, not you? Hmm. Oh, baby, here I You want my fried chicken? So you want him to make fried chicken so he can bring it. Okay. Can you make it? Oh, he may. So we can plan. You precious baby girl. You deserve the world and everything. You deserve a good ass birthday party. Aww. Jesus Christ. I mean, <laughs> really? Where the hell is Roku? Yeah, 
one with your friends and then one with your family. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> That's a special thing for the three of you. Yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't happen. What always lasts forever. Oh, we're seeing, yeah, because eventually she's going to go to the house. Mm -hmm. They're basically showing how the first episode went. You would end it right there. Okay, but seeing Kimmy's birthday, her 11th birthday, oh my god. And the fact that, you know, from 11 to maybe 17, possibly? Because we, we don't really know what actual age he disappeared um, for Hime. But they spent time together. I mean, my heart. Just seeing that picture of Goto, Hime, and Roku together that one picture and how she gets two birthdays one with her friends and then you know one with her her dad and her puppy like that was fucking cute i'm sorry that is so adorable and i loved it so fucking much this is a really good episode though i mean mm, we kind of saw the misunderstandings with this manga and i'm glad that they did that but like the way going back to last week i feel like the, it was hyping it up, and I thought it was going to be something really big, but at the same time, this is the show, and of course, it's going to be misunderstandings in a nutshell, but I wasn't expecting what happened in this episode to happen, but uh, now I want to know what happens next. We only have one episode left, and I'm scared. I don't know how they're going to fit like everything that I personally want in one fucking episode, and if her dad might show up for present day, who fucking knows? I just, I want it. Please, that's all I freaking want, like, God, I deserve that shit. We all deserve it. I mean, come on. Hmm. What? <laughs> Why would you title that Hidden Truths saying that she has something about Gojo's sister. Gojo has a sister? Why would you wait until the last fucking episode to put that? Why would you also have he may say, am I someone's secret love child? He may said that line. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Nope. 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 Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is about to go fucking nuts in this last episode. This is gonna be it's still going to be funny. They're going to have funny moments in this last episode, but this is going to be a fucking serious ass fuck episode. I'm not ready for this because I think a lot, a lot of stuff is going to come out in this next episode. I mean, it's the last episode. Typically in the last couple of episodes, a lot of shit goes down and a lot of shit is going to go down in this last episode. I don't, I kind of, from what it just said right there, you kind of know what you're expecting, but at the same time, you don't know, really. As someone who didn't read the manga, who would like to, maybe after I'm done with the series next week, I'll maybe read it um, if I have time. I, I can't imagine, like, everything that's going to happen. I mean, we're possibly going to see him officially leave her, and then her learning anything else that she needs to know about her father. Maybe her father might return, because I, I want this show to end on a happy note in the future for it. 
um, where he may, you know, she's 18 and she's there and her dad officially pops up. Like if the show ends like that, where her dad comes back into her life and they have a conversation about it with Roku. Cause I mean, like, oh my God, Roku has gotten so big. He looks so cute. Even though he's big now, like, oh, baby boy. I just want her to be happy. She looks so much like her mom. And she deserves the world. And I think this is possibly also where he is going to talk about her mother. Because there have been episodes where we've talked about her mom. There was one episode, just one and one only. And that was like, I think, episode three, four, or five, like early on, where we talked about her mom. And because kids were bringing it up. And then after that, we never really talked about her mom again. But her grandfather is sending all these things that remind him of his daughter. And so I feel like in this final episode, we're finally going to know the truth about what the fuck happened to Hime's mom. If she died during childbirth, if she died in some weird shape or form, maybe she had cancer, something. There's a lot of unanswered with Hime's mom in a nutshell. So with how the hell this show is going to end next week, I mean... No matter what, it's going to surprise the hell out of me, and I can't wait. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of my dad's Secret Ambition. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for the finale. Bye, guys.